Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I'm just down the craft room, I'm actually doing another project and um, I wanted to jump on, film this next video while I've got the paint out because they're separate projects but they will actually go together. Um, so this mug tree um, I bought from the range in July and it was a project that I wanted to do and um, it's just a normal wooden mug tree that you can pick up in loads and loads of places a lot of them now they have like you know the the different sort of more modern types but this is like an old-fashioned kind of wooden one you know like we've had for many many years um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover it in the same paint that we used for the egg cup holders um and i'm actually filming the egg cup holder diy video as well at the minute but the egg cups are drying um, but you'll see them go on in different times. So you'll, you, if you've seen it, would have already seen the egg cups first. Um, so what I'm going to do is just paint the um, mug stand, the mug tree stand, in exactly the same paint. Now, if you wanted to, you could do them in whatever colour you want, whatever sort of theme you want. But these are to actually go in my kitchen. So I will be picking the colours that will match with my sort of decor at home. So this paint will need two coats or this um, this mug tree will need two coats of paint. Um, it's covering, but it's not it's not covering completely. So um, what we'll do is I'll finish painting this, wait for it to dry and then I'll give it another coat of paint as well. Okie doke. So this one's had two coats of paint and it's now dry. So what I'm going to do um, is decoupage using some napkins now I've decided to use this blue and white so the white because it's quite light here um, and I'm going to pick the blue out on the flowers I'm just going to pull those curtains too because I'm not sure if um, it's too sunny I'm not really sure if that's made any difference but so uh, let's just get straight on with this okay so I'm just going to pull my napkin out of the bag here again this is um, this is just one that I've got in my stash I don't know where I bought it from but it would probably be I would say either the napkin shop, K Art Gallery or something like that on eBay. That's generally the ones that um, that I use. So what I'm going to do to start with is just take a look at the napkin, um, work out kind of roughly what I think would look nice where. Um, the design can't be too big um, because, it, well, it just wouldn't look right if you was missing off half the stuff. So um, just sort of pull some bits. I've got some smaller roses, but I think kind of a big one will look nice down the bottom so I'm going to use this one here and just kind of go around that um, first of all so we get our water and we just roughly go now I'm not sure exactly how much of the design I'm going to need but I can always take some extra bits off when the time comes to it so there's no actual sort of really small bits I'm actually gonna have to cut some kind of leaves off but that's fine we can tuck some bits down if we need to so I'm just gonna do exactly what we normally do and let me know if you've given this a go after watching my videos whether you're new to the channel or where you've you know you might have been with me for quite some time now because I've got lots of people that have that have been here for a long time now so let me know if you've had a go at doing this off the back of watching one of my videos because it'll be really nice to know that I've kind of inspired people to to give it a go. I first started doing this after watching a lady called Patty Elhoff. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of her but um, I used to love watching her a couple of years ago I had uh, quite a big operation and um, I watched her so long um, what about two and a half years ago now and that's when I first started doing it right I think she's called Patio Elf on YouTube right so I'm just going to get my Mod Podge give that a little shake I always just pour it in the lid unless I need loads a little bit in there again we're using the same the same one that we normally use in that mod podge i've got myself a bit of cling film here and then i'm going to split up the napkins that's one 
just lick my fingers a little bit. I've just ripped that one a bit actually. Let's try. This one's very stuck together. Sometimes when you get um, a napkin on the join, how is that? What have I done here? Um, it's a little bit sticky. You know, like where it's a bit. It's got all those dots in it in the corner of a napkin. Sometimes it's quite hard to get it out. So just persevere because you do just want the top bit. There we go. We've got it. Right. So I'm going to pop this along the bottom. And maybe kind of come down a little bit. I'll get my brush, my trusty brush. And just paint some on. And it doesn't matter if you paint it in a slightly different place because we are going to seal it all with um, with this glue anyway. So it won't matter too much. And then put that on there. Get your cling film again. Pop it over the top. Just try and move that hand a bit so you can see what I'm doing. bring it down. I think it will look quite nice actually if it comes down this little edge. And then once you think you've smoothed it all, you can peel it back and then if you do need to sort of smooth any other areas you can. So there we go. There's that there, and I think that looks really sweet. So don't paint over the top of it again until it's dried with um, with glue, because it'll rip. So what I'm gonna do now is just decorate a little bit more. So again, all you need to do is, oops, is get your, get your napkin and just have a rough work out what you think would be nice, um, what bits you could pull out. And um, I'm just gonna have a go at doing that now. So now I'm just going to finish the rest of the stand and um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Back at the house now and here's the finished stand. I think it looks really pretty. And um, what I'm going to do is just pop that in my kitchen. I'll just get a selection um, of nice mugs. Um, I might pop something like this on, maybe this sort of size um, and just put those all the way around and stand that in my kitchen. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this little tutorial. It's really dead simple and you can decoupage so many items. If you haven't already caught the egg cup decoupage video, I've brought those up to the house as well. I will link that video in the description down below in case you want to watch that too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.